Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you're here for today's video because it is time for another crafty tutorial. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made these super cool candles that are kind of going viral right now on TikTok because everyone is getting all their supplies from the Dollar Tree, making them super cheap, easy, and fun to make. So if you're ready to see how I made this and some other super cute candles, then keep watching. All right y'all, so for this craft, you're going to need all of your basic candle making supplies. So some type of candle wax. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. I think no one was wanting to buy like a giant slab of wax because it's kind of a pain in the butt to work with. You gotta break it up before you can use it. But it was on clearance for $13.50 instead of $54 so I couldn't pass that up so I went ahead and snagged this because it is 10 pounds of candle wax so if you have a Hobby Lobby near you definitely go check it out and see if yours has some wax on clearance as well you're also going to need some fragrance oil today I'm using waxy flower and this is the mold cider fragrance it smells amazing especially for fall candles, which is what we're doing. You're also going to need some mica pigment powder, whatever colors you are wanting to work with. You're also going to need some candle wicks, and I got this pack of 100 wicks, and they are 100% cotton from Amazon, and it was super cheap, so I will be sure to link that down below for you guys. And then just like with any other candle, you're also going to need a melting pot and a thermometer. I'm also gonna be using a hot glue gun, and some barbecue skewers to hold my wicks in place while the candle wax is curing. And then these little skeletons along with the black glass bowls and then all of these other little jars I got from Dollar Tree. Except the two bowls in the back I actually thrifted from a thrift store for like a dollar. So I definitely recommend checking out your local thrift stores as well. All right, I'm so excited to jump into this, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all, so I already have some water boiling in a pot and I have measured out two pounds of the candle wax and I put it in my melting pot. So now I'm just gonna set it in this boiling water and I just like to walk away from it and let it completely melt down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prep our bowls and jars while we're waiting. All right, so here are my little skeletons and they just come on this like little garland here. So I'm just gonna cut the tops off of these to separate them all. Now I did see some people getting slightly larger skeletons that they sell individually at Dollar Tree, but I didn't see those at mine. So I settled for these, but I still think they will turn out pretty cool. So now we have some little individual skeletons. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to pull the legs off because we don't need them. I mean, you could stick them out on the other side of the bowl if you wanted to, but I don't really like the way that looks. So I'm just using the torso on my skeletons. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my cordless hot glue gun and let that preheat. Okay, so then I'm just going to carefully kind of bend the arms up and we're gonna put some hot glue down his spine and along the pelvis and maybe a drop on the back of each of his hand. And then we're just gonna glue him down in the bowl just like that. Okay, just like so. Now we are going to place our wicks down, although I am not gonna be burning my candles just because I've heard that it can be kind of a fire hazard since this little skeleton is plastic. I'm just gonna be using mine for decoration. But if you happen to come across some like porcelain or metal skeletons, then you could absolutely burn these. And I have seen people all over TikTok say that they have been burning theirs with no issues, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and warn you guys as well. So I'm just putting a little dab of hot glue on the bottom of my 
candle wick there and I'm just setting it down in the bowl like so. And then I'm just going to place my little skewer right here and wrap my wick around it to hold the wicks straight up and in place while I pour my melted candle wax in here. And I'm actually gonna use some bobby pins to hold it in place there because it keeps wanting to spin around and I don't want that like dipping in my wax. Okay, and now this one is ready to have the wax poured into it. All right, and now all of my bowls and containers are ready for my wax to be poured into. And as you can see, all of the wax is completely melted. So I'm going to remove my melting pot from my hot water and I'm just going to set it aside. And let's go ahead and attach my thermometer and check the temperature on the wax because we can't pour our fragrance oil in until it's about 130. If it's hotter than that, then you run the risk of kind of burning off your fragrance oil and having a super weak unscented candle. And just a reminder, for every 16 ounces of wax or one pound of wax, you will need one ounce of fragrance oil. All right, y'all, sorry, my camera decided to die while I was pouring my fragrance oil. So like I said, for every pound, you're gonna do one ounce of fragrance oil. Because this was two pounds, I did two ounces, which is equivalent to four tablespoons of oil. So I went ahead and poured that in there. So now I'm just gonna stir it thoroughly and we're just gonna let it set for a minute. And I'm gonna go grab my mica pigment powder so we can add that in here. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. All 
all right well that was every drop of the wax so apparently one bowl is one pound of wax so i'm gonna have to melt some more and do some more white to be able to fill up these other little jars and bowls over here and then i will go ahead and melt some more wax and do the different colors all right so i'm melting another two pounds of wax okay so my second pot of wax is completely melted so again we are going to let it cool to 130 before we can pour in our fragrance oil All right, now I melted another pound of wax. So I'm only gonna be doing two tablespoons in this one or one ounce of fragrance oil. And this one I'm gonna add some green mica pigment powder to for one of the little skeleton bowls. All right, last batch, and this one I'm going to be doing purple, and it's a little over a pound, about a pound and a half, so I'm gonna do three tablespoons of fragrance oil. All right, so now that I poured all of our candle wax, now I'm gonna let these candles set for the rest of the day and overnight, and we'll see how they look in the morning. All right, y'all, so it is the next day, and the candles are done curing, and they look amazing. So now I just need to take off like my little skewers and trim down our wicks, and we will be all done. All right, you guys, well, there you have it. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video, but you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out my future videos. I would greatly appreciate the follow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.